Hey guys, today is baby day. We're gonna go get breakfast and um, then we're gonna head to the hospital because I'm getting induced today. I'm officially 41 weeks pregnant. And uh, here's baby dad. <laughs> I'm really excited. Um, I'm a film as we go. And uh, what else? I have a couple things to tell you guys. Um, I got a membrane sweep on my last doctor's appointment. And after the membrane sweep, like literally right after the membrane sweep, this is gross. This is going to gross him up. But um, last time I told you guys my, my mucus plug was coming up. <laughs> coming out little by little. But after that, a membrane sweep, like a whole bunch came out. It was pretty gross. Like the next day, a whole bunch came out like a lot. So it kind of did something. But, um, and that membrane sweep didn't really hurt either. Like a lot of people say it does, but it didn't hurt. So anyway, I'm late actually. My induction is supposed to be at 8. It's already 8.39, so hopefully we don't get sent back home. But we'll see what happens. I don't think they're in a really big rush to be having babies. In, so. so yeah, we're going to get breakfast. And then after that, we're going to head to the hospital. And then I'll, I'll do an update from there. See you then. All right, guys, we're here. We literally just checked in. This is the room that we're gonna be in for a while until, until baby's born. This is his little setup. This is the bed. And I was curious what cup they're gonna give. It's a nice cup, nice jug. Let's go check out the bathroom. So curious what that looks like. Um, this is the bathroom. You guys are seeing this just as I'm seeing this. This is so yeah. <laughs> Here's the shower. Looks like they have all the balls <laughs> in my shower, which is cool. I guess I'll be using that. Um, so, also, when I checked in, they gave me this paper. It's, um, the birth certificate paper. She said I can fill it out when the baby's born. And uh, the only issue is that my last name is messed up, like, on my ID and on all my papers and stuff. So, I was like, um, I was like, since my last name is misspelled, and it's been like that my whole life, I was like is my baby going to have that um, misspelling on his last name? And she was like, they go by your ID, so basically, yeah. So now me and my baby are both going to have a messed up last name, <laughs> and we're going to have to get that fixed. So if you have an issue with your last name or your name, you might want to get that fixed before having your baby. Just a little tip. Also... I have a cold, which sucks, because, I mean, I got a COVID test two days before coming here. I'm going to find out what the result is, but I don't I don't think I have COVID, but I have a cold for sure. All right, so um, I'm going to update you guys in a little bit, okay? Okay, guys, so the nurse came in and... Uh, I filled out like four papers. Well, I just signed four papers. And uh, she put the IV. Well, she took the blood and she still has to connect me to the IV. Um, she told me who my doctor is and she put the heart monitor on me. So. I got the heart monitor, well, the fetal monitors on, and um, I got my wristbands, and I got some fruit, <laughs> but yeah, um, that's what's happened so far. 
All our stuff is right over there. Um, I have no idea how long we're going to be here. But um, I feel like we're going to be here for a while. So I'm just going to relax for a bit. See what they say. And then um, I'll come back with another update. Okay, guys. So my update is that I just was given my first dose of Cytotec. And it's these little, they're really, really small, um, these little pills that you put under your tongue to, um, yeah, to help me dilate. Yeah, and they said that um, after taking the pill, uh, you can't eat for like an hour. And she said, I'm going to, they're going to be giving me that every four hours. So I guess when four hours is up they're gonna check me down there see if I've uh, dilated and then they're gonna give me more um also I met my doctor and he seems very nice and very cool he seems I like him I got a good vibe from him um, he uh, checked me down there uh, last doctor's appointment I was one centimeter dilated and I think he said that I'm still one centimeter dilated from my last appointment and uh, I thought it was going to be like like my last cervical check I guess you could say from my other doctor because she was in there it was like you know and she did a sweep it didn't hurt <laughs> but this this time it did hurt I actually felt it all, like he went in there pretty deep and uh, actually caused some back pain I was like well oh. I even had to like hold my breath for a little bit because it kind of hurt it but it was over quickly and um, yeah so I met my doctor got my cervix checked and I've been given my given side attack and uh, yeah now we just have to wait. Hope that he comes today, but I don't know how these medic. I've never taken any of these medications in my life, so I don't know how they're gonna affect me. Twelve thirty-six. How do you feel? Hungry? Uh, a little hungry. Well, my back is like getting cramps. Achy. Yeah, like period cramps. <laughs> Hopefully. I don't know. I kind of would like for it. For me to just dilate and not need to toast and my body just do the rest of the work. What's going to be his name? Right. I'm about to um, have one of these Jolly Ranchers. Uh, I just ordered my food. It says, they say it's going to take 45 minutes. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> There's nothing really to do in here, except stare at each other. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. I've drank up like all my water too. And the good thing that since I'm not like plugged into my IV, like the actual drip. I can go to the bathroom whenever I feel like going. And they said, um, as far as like the feet, the heart monitor and all that, um, I just have to disconnect myself from there. She showed me how to reconnect when I'm done using the bathroom. So I could be walking around right now. I don't know what I'd be doing though. <laughs> 
Let me just watch TV. Watch TV and wait for my food to get here. Okay. This is what we're working with. I got, I ordered a chicken sandwich and um, <laughs> potatoes. Vaja ordered some food. Where are you going to eat, man? <laughs> and I got a Coke. But you know what, guys? They forgot my mashed potatoes. So now... I'm just going to be looking at Poncho's mashed potatoes over there. Light. Light. <laughs> Did they give us a straw for the soda or we just... Oh. <laughs> mm. Okay, we'll just drink it like regular. Oh, I'm not that fancy. You want ketchup? Yeah. Hmm? Yeah, I want ketchup. It's, right, ketchup? it's right there oh. on your tray. So here, this is all your ketchup menu. Your fork. They forgot your fork. No, there's a fork right. Oh, yeah, that's your fork. Okay. So I right. gave it. <laughs> I give them four stars. And then uh, I'll give or take a star based on the flavor. <laughs> this is the contraction screen. I'm the bottom one. This is me. I'm not really feeling much, just little cramps. And it looks like this person in room two, 2011 is having like some contractions. And then the top squiggly line right here is the heart monitor, which mine looks kind of weird. But I did like she did adjust so I think that's what this is she like adjusted my monitor earlier okay guys it's 427 and I just got my second dose of um, Cytotec uh, the nurse said that my contractions were spacing out. <clears throat> so they gave me the second dose. It's only been... It's been like seven minutes since I got it. And, uh... I'm not in pain. I feel good. Maybe in like... <laughs> maybe in like an hour. She said she wants me to feel nice and crampy. That's what she said earlier, so waiting for me to feel nice and crampy until then I'm just gonna drink some water mm. I'm feeling tired because of my cold and I want to take a nap but they kind of um well the nurse is like adjusting my monitor constantly so I don't think that's gonna be possible because she um, comes in like every five minutes so it would be nice if um if they could do like less monitoring but um I mean they have to do what they have to do so that's fine. Um yeah. So it's been like three hours now since my last dose of the Sinotech and I'm, I am starting to feel contractions like they still feel like period cramps but like bad cr period cramps. Um, the nurse said that if, uh, if my body I guess starts to space out contractions again they're going to give me another dose at like 8. It's 7.30 right now, 7.30 p.m. So um, if, 
if my body doesn't start figuring things out for itself, <laughs> then I'm going to get another dose. But I probably will get another dose of the Cytotec. And she um, changed my monitor because I asked her, I was like, um, am I going to have to be stuck with like that purple and blue you know, band monitor at night when I'm trying to sleep? Because I, I don't really don't want to have them on. It's kind of annoying. Especially when you're trying to use the bathroom, you have to like hold your gown and the and the cords and um and then wipe with the other hand. So I was like, Is, you know, I have to sleep with that on. So she changed mine. So um, she changed it to um kind of like a. She said it was like a Bluetooth and um it's a. Uh, this is the battery pack, and uh, these are the little monitors, and it just sends the information to the screen. So she wants me to just chill with it on for like 10 minutes um, to calibrate, I think that's what she said. So, so far so good, and I have been really like, these contraction cramp things, they really are picking up. Okay. They're more frequent. Earlier, well, the first dose, they're very light. Almost didn't feel them. I'm feeling one right now. And uh, it kind of feels like uh, when you eat some bad food, <laughs> you have to use the bathroom. Like, you know, your tummy gets tight. And you're like, oh, I have to use the bathroom. <laughs> That's what it kind of feels like right now. And I'm also feeling it in my back sorry guys I'm tired like I'm hoping that um, I can get some rest tonight but the, the this I have a new nurse now because I guess the other nurse's shift is done and um, I like her she's nice too um, but she seems very positive and she's like hey maybe uh Maybe we might move you to Potosin after this. But we'll see. Um, so yeah, that's a little, little update. Okay, guys? I'll be back soon. It's 9.08. And these uh, contractions are actually getting pretty painful. Like, I don't know how to explain it. Um, kind of feels like air is building up inside of me like that's what it feels like i'm sitting on a sitting on a birthing ball here to try to like help with the contractions and uh the pretty frequent um i didn't get the third dose of uh cytotec because my body she said my body's kind of like taking over so, that's a good thing. It's kind of getting hard to breathe through the contractions. I feel like maybe I just need a better like breathing technique. I feel a little unprepared. Hopefully, I can do this though. I'm trying. Right now, I haven't really, like in the last minute, I haven't had a contraction, so good um, going to the bathroom kind of I don't know why but it kind of helps um, I've had like some spotting after peeing so everything seems to be progressing that contraction wasn't too bad <sighs> rocking back and forth is kind of comforting Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Pancho says he doesn't think that I'm gonna be able to do it, but we'll see.